Hey, what's up team? Yeah, I know, vlogs have been short and sweet, but I'll update you on that. Um, but we're doing one, which is amazing. Now, uh, Costco's been open a while, we wanted to go and check it out. It's been madness. Lots of people are doing short TikToks, and everyone can see like coffins and big teddy bears. We wanted to go for a bit more of a look. So we're going to go do that. Uh, the other things I'm, I'll update you on on this one is, you may have seen on Instagram, I might have bought a new motorcycle, and I love it. Also, I was going to update you on the um, Swift, because that's been a bit of a saga, and there's a bit of uh, information to give you about that. But yeah, first of all, check out my bike. So... The story was, the story goes, I went in to the Harley Davidson dealership because I was at Cycle Treads putting some tyres on my old Harley and I went in and I said ignore me, don't worry about me, I'm just kicking tyres because I'm getting tyres next door. Uh, yeah. Um, and then I saw this and I went ooh, ooh. So I said to Greg, I said can I sit on it? And he said okay. And I sat on it and I smiled and he said is this the one? And I said, I think it might be. So he said, bring your tire, uh, bring your bike around once you got your tires on, and we'll talk about a trade in. I said, okay. And obviously, I've you know I've been putting some money aside for a while for the last couple of you know last couple of years to be fair because I knew that this was something that I really really wanted, and because it's so close to what I wanted, it was a bit of a stretch, but because it was so close to what I actually wanted to do long term, it was too good of a deal to pass up. So. It's got, obviously this is club style, so it's got the fairings and it's got the um, hand guards. It's got 10 inch Arlen Ness risers. I bought the little um, bag from Harley Davidson here the other day. It's got the settlement step up. Now that seat's probably, I've done three and a half hours in it and it was fine, but I think like a full day, like a proper eight hour ride, like non stop you to Auckland or Wellington, may be a bit much. Um, I've had a young lady on the back, no complaints at all. Um, so that goes good. Uh, it's stage two, hot cammed. So I forget the number of the cam, but I did meet the guy that built this bike, and he told me the number. I forgot what it was, but the long story short is once you get over three and a half thousand RPM, this thing just goes. It's awesome. Uh, SNS pipe sounds really good. Doesn't sound like your traditional Harley, um, but it yeah, it sounds really awesome. Uh, this sissy bar I don't love. And the only reason I don't love it is because it's not quick detach. So I'm going to get the quick detach system. Uh, what do we got? Oh, relocated gauges. So those gauges have been relocated. I really like it. Um, grips are different. I really like these grips. It came with um, and uh, the the mirrors. I didn't like, and it had an integrated indicator in it. So I've gone for the LED indicator standard and stock mirrors. And they're really good because we do a lot of pack riding and you know you want to be able to see what's close and the old ones were shit and these are much better so yeah uh, Ford controls it's got aftermarket pegs front and pillion uh, yeah got a indicator uh, the indicators are integrated into the brake light which is really cool and uh, watch that you should start it okay Okay, well, what can we say about this? We are as curious as everybody else about Costco. Oh, Ben, by the way. Hi, nice Ben. Um, you guys have seen Ben in vlogs before. Probably appearing here and there. Yeah, only briefly in the back seat, but I oh, know that's the other channel. Yes, yeah, the casting one. Anyway, um, yeah, no, it's the same as everybody. Curiosity got the better of us, and we wanted to go see Costco, but there was no way in hell we were standing in those fucking lines. So, we've got a lazy Sunday afternoon, Ben's been watching the UFC, and we thought, you know what, let's just go and try our luck. So, it's pretty quiet, so it's good. The main thing that I wanted to do for the sake of filming it was I saw a bunch of things on TikTok, and it's always the same shit. Coffins, big teddy bears, and hot dogs. And when I said hot dogs before, Ben, you went, what? I didn't know they actually had food in there. Yeah, so... I thought it was like all pre-packaged like bulk buy kind of shit yes they do we're here man oh hey we're here yeah. we're doing it let's go it's exciting 
It's a steep ass car park. Yeah. These are very big trolley. They're very big trolleys. Very big trolleys. I'm not going to go on the hitting leg, I'm going to go on the trail. Oh, look at this. Hey, podcast much. Let's see how we make some cuts. How much is it? 300. That's not bad. What is it? That's a decent bike, yeah, and it comes with the arm. What's the two guys? Radios, let's go. Oh, yo, walkie talkies. We'll never get lost. Yo. Roger, Roger. That's the hot dogs and the pizza. The most expensive part of these is just the vinyl for printing. I mean, right next to printing, it brings you these fancy pants bags. Do you need an Yves Saint Laurent bag for $2,700? No. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh... Oh, trimmer. Oh, that's an interesting electric one. Like a skin one. I have seen these before. Oh. Um, they look so sort of shit. How much is it? They do my balls, man. They. The dual air fryer, four hundred dollars. Oh, that's not very good. But there are two. Yeah. What's this? Temperature. Ah, uh, yep. We just went straight from a gelato maker to a winch and a solar panel. Everything's here. Everything's here, and more Christmas decorations. Well, we're getting into the car section. Yeah, and it's funny how like we've got the shelf, and then that's like you know the item, and then there's like the one in here, and then there's the one that's coming up with me. That's pretty hard. The clothes section kind of looks like a second-hand clothing area. Imagine if I like, came out and had a big sale. Ah. Yeah, if I moved in with you, I bought a cheapy one from Office Warehouse, which is okay. But this is really rather nice. But again, prices, where are all the prices? Oh, it's there, $500, that's not bad. Why do you get an instant rebate of $100? Um, okay, it's now just occurred to me that we're under all of that, and it's scary. <laughs> okay, so we've gone from computer chairs to the next aisle is exterior lighting. I do like some good exterior lighting. Oh, some Edison style bowls. Thanks. That looks like a good sensor. Like Whoa! It works. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Pretty light. 79 bucks. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Imagine yeah. that in your room and you really sit it off. Look a lot nicer than those different colored ones I got in the moment. Cut that out from here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the stand up arcade thing. I wonder how big that actually is. Again, though, they don't really put the prices on. Not on that, so it's probably somewhere else. Yeah. But look, this is what's up with Costco, right? Batteries. 20 bucks for a big pack of batteries. That's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, like. Oh. That's what I assume this place is for. Yeah, you'll vibrate a little bit. Okay, next over from um, outdoor lighting, we're in some power tools. Stanley's not a bad brand. Pets a decent brand. Come on, Bart. $199. Bucks for a double or a little rainfall. It's It's not bad. Karch yeah. yeah. is a good brand. Oh, a heavy duty weed block. Oh, it's not reason. Some more organizational stuff for the sheds. Hey, that's actually not a bad price because I paid about the same from, I forget what, what place it was, but that's different. Yeah, if my attend the same thing would go for like yeah. $250, $300. Oh, look, that's a weird, that comes on wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty comfy in we here. don't really have that much money over a lawn though. No, like mean, our lawn, I don't know if this would fit on our lawn. It would just have to go like back and forth repetitively. Meat section. Yeah. I reckon we do this in a bit. But I reckon 
Well, and there's meat over there. But the point that I'm making is um, there's if we do the we do this after, and then we can do some meat price comparisons. So let's look at the rest of the stuff that they just sell. Grill, a little two burner grill, but it's KitchenAid. That, that's a good brand. Yeah. Just don't shame its size, man. I mean, no, it's it's how you use it. Exactly. They could grill a patio too. Yeah. Bikes and clothes, four hundred bucks. These do look very good. What the hell? There's a sale on here. Go check out our video review. I did a review on one of these, and they've got the storm beam. Holy shit! Storm beam, fifteen grand. These are like, these are actually pretty high up there for electric dirt bikes. Is this an electric one? It's an electric dirt bike. Oh, nice. But they're a British company, and they're actually quite a good brand. Yeah. So we're somewhat in the middle of the store now, and we're finding a lot of outdoor stuff, bikes, barbecues. So a lot of brands that I recognize, like Traeger and KitchenAid. So like this brand, I don't know, I've never heard of this brand, but maybe it's popular in America. But is it good quality in America? We don't know, it looks red. Better than spewing in a seashell tub. Oh yeah. 260 surfboard, we could learn to surf. Learning. Is that a puzzle? Oh my we god, you love puzzles. Too many people. What? I want a thousand piece puzzle. Yeah, but I don't want to know. know. I don't want to know what I'm making when I make it. Oh, yeah. I got it. Wait, Ben, where are you? Come here. This is actually interesting because these at Chemist Warehouse is cheaper. Oh really? Yeah. I bought some of these online from Chemist Warehouse for $64 delivery and $74 delivery. Six pack of Rex Owner, $27. Not bad. What are they each normal, like six bucks? I don't know. But don't you ever get sick of having the same smell? Don't you like multiple no, smells? No, I like, once I get the one that I like, I like it. So they've got a big chemist section. Most of this stuff is either about the same or actually some of it's a little bit more. My razors that I bought from Chemist Warehouse was a lot cheaper than here. Would you like my raw nuts? Yeah. I'm kind of torn because I want to buy something for the experience but I also don't want to wait in that big line. I also really want to try their super cheap um, hot dogs but again there's still big queues and I don't want to do that. But I just found something I haven't seen for a very long time. I don't know if you remember, but I actually was grew up in Denmark. We had Playmobil. I haven't seen that here. Oh, look at these Legos! How cool is that? White House down. Statue of Liberty. Harry Potter. Oh, five hundred bucks for that Lego Technic. That is cool. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Touch it. Like a pre-made udon. Pretty good. Turk stir fry udon with mixed veggies. Yeah, I'll do something like that. 15 bucks. So now that we're in the food set, well this is like a pit area now. Yeah. Pet toys and shit. But what we're doing is we're walking around and we're kind of going, is that a good deal, is that not a good deal? And it's kind of 50-50. Some of it's a good deal, some of it isn't. I don't know if y'all have cats, but 28 trays of dine, oh wait, Whiskers, Whiskers is a brand we know here, 60 times 85 grams for 50 bucks, tell me in the comments, is that a good deal, I don't know, I don't feed our cats, someone else does, they get fed, Vegemite, 950 grams, that's a lot of Vegemite, okay so now we're in the freezer section, and there seems to be a bunch of stuff that you just would not see at that inside. Like the mate beans. Or a carrot goofy slab cake. Ben, what do you No, don't get in. It's pretty spacious. Definitely lots of stuff that you wouldn't see at your general pack and save, so that's good. What is that? Darian? What is it? Not really sure. Oh yeah, this is like crispy squid for 20 bucks. Hot and spicy corns for 30 bucks. These aren't that good, but stuff that you wouldn't see on this map. 
Burning mats for streaky bacon. And yeah, people, people have been using that one. Yeah. Really interesting sausage options. Original grillers. I'm assuming that that's probably on par with Sizzlers. Like chorizo. Grandpa's. Never heard of Grandpa's. Like, I kind of want to try a bunch of this stuff. So Harry's chili con carne. I think you buy chips, man. Oh. Okay, meat pies. I've never heard of 4 and 20. I mean, I've heard of 4 and 20. But, uh, 18 pies for $30. That's not good. It depends on the quality. Yeah, like, it's a big risk to get 18 pies in your hour. Yeah, but it seems like there's some, like, party mixers and stuff. Party packs I've never seen before. Sorts of rolls. I'm just looking in the bakery section and like, what's a loaf of bread worth? Don't know. But the bakery section is like, there's nothing here, so it must be good deals because it's all gone. So there's six packets of Pringles for 17 bucks, and they're a flavour that you would not get otherwise in this country. Yeah. Well, it does look like dishwashing liquid. It does. Like powder. Look like Hundreds and thousands, put them on anything, it's 11 bucks for a kilo of hundreds and thousands. This That's would last cheap. until we die. Yeah. Are you going to give me flowers? What have you done to deserve flowers? Fuck you. We're in a can section and it smells like pussy. No, it's roast beef. So. Is that not tuna? Should we buy a boat? This place if we ever make another thing. Ah, it's pretty big if. We don't have to find any other things. Okay, legit palm from a block, thirty-eight dollars, and it's bigger than your head if I want to feel. That's that's not bad. Oh, like, you're having some deep flavor, you want to do some wings, 60 bucks, we've got sauce, we've got some donuts, 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 we've got that's expensive. And now we get into the nitty gritty. This is the real shit. This is the real shit. Organic chicken, 1.7 kilos, 37 dollars. Is that good? I feel like that's it's organic. 22 dollars a kg. 500 grams, so I think dollars. That's good. And if it's like... Sorry. Of all of the things I've seen a lot of people get is bakery stuff. Yeah, this is interesting, look. So that's in your hand. It comes out over there and it's being made over there. Oh, it's a lily cake! Look how very cute is that? Fucking good, mate. So the thing that's interesting about this place, we've actually, we're almost back at the start, but what they do is we just found it before on a set of, uh, on a keyboard setup, is that what they do, they won't have every keyboard they'll have the one that they think will sell the best or whatever it is so you get like one option but that option is cheaper so like Acer laptop you get one choice it's the Aspire 3 is that the best one no but it's the one that they're selling there's a chai and tea beans told you I really wanted to do the $1.99 hot dog for you, but there's too much of a line and it looks horrific. I still haven't found the coffins though. Oh, maybe I should hide his code. Oh yeah, hide his code. You can get the tires done here. 
you get a spa pool, you can get a coffin, you can get your tyres done. You can actually get your tyres done here. They have stations for it, so that's kind of cool. Now the real struggle was to find the fucking car. Jeebus. Uh, we got muffins, we got one each. Uh, we'll try those when we get home. I'm starving, I need to get some food. Our experience. Ben, how do you feel? Uh, meh. Yeah. Like, I'm glad that we went. I've been looking forward to going. Not because I thought it was going to be amazing, but I wanted to go because I wanted to go. Yeah, just the curiosity of it all. Yeah, 100%. Um, what was your big takeaway? Um, there definitely is a good array of things. Like, it'd be a good shop if you're looking for, like, Christmas gifts or, like, birthday presents or just... It feels very, like, if you're a family, it would be ideal for, like, get bulk buying for things, but of the bulk buying nature of it you end up actually spending more than you ever would at like other stores yeah like you don't need four liters of um tomato sauce you don't need four liters of anything but knowing that you can get it and that buying it four liters at a time is going to save you some dollars yeah. but how long is it going to take you to use four liters of tomato sauce I think the thing with the food is that there were some deals, some, and there was definitely things you wouldn't see elsewhere. Um, some of the international foods that was pre-packaged that can last a while. Meats were meats, there wasn't a huge amount in it. I don't think there's a big saving there. But I think if you were having like either a really, really, really big dinner party, or maybe you've got a food truck and you, you know, because there was like, what was it? There was um, a massive thing of salad toppers yeah. that would last me enough salads for the rest of my life. But if you were making 30 salads a day for your cafe, hey, yeah, cool, go for it. But, oh, okay, here's a good one. Do you think you would save 60 bucks worth of membership for your year by going? I mean, it would, it would definitely motivate you to go more often because it's like, fuck, you spent $60, that's like, five, I guess $5 a month, realistically. But still, $5 a month after two years, that's 120 bucks. And if you've only gone twice in that year, not really. So, the final piece of the story with the Swift was that I... They gave it back to me and I was like, that's not right, there's still a vibration, it's not driving straight. Because one of the wheels was buckled, and because one was buckled, they couldn't get a replacement, so they had to replace all of the wheels. But she's back now, she's going good, and I really don't drive her that much. I literally put fuel in her twice in about two months, because um, I generally just ride to work. Actually, on that note, a couple of people have come into it. I do, I'm working full time again now, and um, like this, that job is very separate to this because I guess not everybody thinks that the pyramids were built by aliens as their official stance. So yeah, just by all means come in and say hi, but if you're not, you know, but they are two very separate things. Um, but yeah, no, the thing that was interesting about that car was I, uh, after the crash, they said they were gonna give me X amount. And then I looked into what was a pre-accident valuation or something to the effect of. Now let's sit down and I'll tell you what that is. So a lot of people were asking about the insurance thing with my car in terms of being able to get more money out of the insurance company. Now what happened was I went and put in the claim after my car got crashed into, I rang up, made the claim, they took it away, said it was gonna be a write off and offered me, I think it was $3,700. I turned around and said, if I wanna replace that car at six and a half grand on trade me like for like. So I said, can I please have a pre-accident valuation? Now, my insurance company, I'm with AA, they did it for me and it cost me nothing. There are third parties that will do it for you and they'll charge you about $100 to $200. The problem is with that is there's no way to know how much more you're going to get for your car from what they're telling you that they're going to give you for their payout versus what you're actually going to get from them telling you. And I actually tried that process and the guy basically turned around and said, well, it's going to be worth it. And I was like, well, of course it's worth it for you. You're the one getting my money. So I didn't like that process. So it was lucky that AA turned around and said, well, look, we'll take care of that for you. And they ended up revaluing my car as it would have been before it was crashed into at, I think it was 6,200, which I was fine with because it's only a little swift. And then 
the thing that was annoying, a little bit annoying, was that they ended up then saying, well, now your repairs are in budget, so we're going to repair your car. That was great because I ended up getting to keep the Swift and then I sold the shitbox that I bought for $500 more than I bought it for, which covered the excess, which worked out swimmingly. The other thing that happened was they gave me my car back and said, it's all fine, it's ready to go. I'm driving it along and it's still got like mad wobble in the back wheel and it's not even driving straight. Turned out that the back wheel was still buckled and it was not even straight. So they turned around and said, okay, bring the car back. I took the car back and they said, okay, your wheel's destroyed, it's not safe, and they ended up putting a whole new set of wheels on it, hence why I've got a cool new set of wheels on the Swift. So if you do get into an accident and they come back and say, hey, we're going to give you X amount for your car, you can ask for a pre-accident valuation. Your insurance company might not do it, but mine did it for me and there are third parties that will do it for you. So it's always worth having a go because if you can get some more money out of your insurance company, hey, fantastic. I was really, really, really happy with AA. They gave me a loan car, all of that sort of thing. It's been really good. And actually on insurance, as a side note, when I bought my new Harley, they set me up with um, Swan Insurance. And for a month of being with Swan Insurance, I tried ringing them three, four times a week, emailing them multiple times a week to say, hello, I'd like to not pay one year I'd like to pay monthly nobody got back to me so then through work we ended up getting a good deal for insurance I switched insurance companies told them to cancel my policy and they called me in five minutes so there you go I'm, I went from Swan which was what I got through the Harley dealership and now I'm with Protector and they have all of the same good stuff like uh, $2,500 towards gear in the case of an accident my excess is the same and my premium is about 50 bucks cheaper so good all around but yeah this is part of the latest vlog so if you haven't watched that jump on the YouTube check it out all right team see you soon all right that was Costco thanks for watching um that whole insurance bit was something that a few people asked me for so I thought I'd just throw it in there because we were talking about it and I said I'd do it in the next vlog which was about a month ago but hey there we go life happens Ben what are you playing I'm playing a little God of War trying to get through it as quick as possible so mainly just main story yeah uh, and go check out Dave's review of that on the website it'll be there it's already there and uh, yeah thanks for watching good to get the vlog shoes back on and have a bit of a crack at it and uh, we'll see you next time hopefully not too soon no not too far away yes yes that one we'll do more vlogging soon see you guys soon